Hi, I'm Josie McMaster. I'm a junior, and I'm currently a business undecided major, but to be determined because I've switched it like five times already. <laughs> I am Michael Megan, and I'm a media studies major. Hey, my name's Grace. I'm a student at the University of Akron, and I study political science and history. My name is Juan Contreras. I'm a professor of practice in the School of Communication, and I also work as the general manager of ZTV, our student-run television station. I'm McKenna Bittmeyer. I'm an assistant professor of instruction here in the School of Communication. My name is Marta Santos, and I'm a professor of Latin American history in the Department of History at the University of Akron. OK, so um, let me think about this. I know a few times my freshman year, my friends would like pressure me to go out with them on like a Thursday, even though like at the time we still had Friday classes. And actually it has 7, 7.45 on Fridays. And I still went out on a Thursday night and then uh, woke up maybe a little late, maybe around 7.45 and then got myself to class on time. Well, 10 minutes late, but you know. Hmm. Well, I feel like I have not. I'm pretty diligent about studying. Yeah, definitely. Um, there have been times where I was like, man, I am so hungry. I just got to go home, make myself a sandwich real quick. And then I'm eating it on the walk, walk into class, still half sandwich in my hand, so. Every day. <laughs> Not late, but I've come in with a food or drink. I literally got like four hours of sleep last night and then I went into work at like 6.15 this morning and I absolutely fell asleep in both of my classes. <laughs> I have also done that before um, at Colby Hall in the ZTV station for the 48 hour film challenge. I have. I have slept in an academic building. I think it was Gazetta. Took a little nap there after a rehearsal. I don't think so. Hmm. That's a tough one, have I? I okay, I have. I have. Yeah. Uh, I saw my teacher later on and I, I'd sent them like an email about like, oh, why I couldn't make it to class. I think it was an excuse, like I had to do something for ZTV. And then I saw them and I was just like, hey, how's it going? They were like, how'd your shoot go? And I was like, good, went really well. I have not had the misfortune of doing that. So I'd count myself pretty lucky. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. No, I've pretty much always uh, walked the campus, actually. So what happened? I've also unfortunately not done that. Parking is a continuous struggle. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I'm be honest. <laughs> I have been to I have been to a Zips Invade. I've gone Diamond Deli, uh, pots and pans. It's really good, and uh, coffee. I've done a lot this semester. A lot of a lot of Zips Invade. I have. I went to one this morning. I got free pancakes and sausage and coffee at Serendipity Cafe. Have not. Sad. I have not, unfortunately, but you just wait. I have done that, and that was very awkward. I didn't really know what to do with myself, but I enjoyed it. I don't know who watched, but I did it. Calc 2, it'll get ya. <laughs> I have failed fundamental math 3. Yes, but I ended up passing it last year, so we good. Me, please. I was a wild freshman. I have not. I have, like all the time. I'm a double major. At Starbucks, <laughs> every day of my life. <laughs> 
Yes, producer of ZTV's Lights, Camera, Record. Uh, have not. No. Uh, literally like every other day, let's be honest. <laughs> I have not actually. You gotta get your Z's, even if you have an exam. For school? Yeah, probably only once to finish a paper. Not that I was procrastinating, but you know, to put the final touches. Um, just once or twice. <laughs> have I been late to my own class? I think I have but only because I get sidetracked by students who stop me in the hall. I'm usually super early. I'm usually like 15 minutes early to my classes, but I'm sure I have at some point. I'm not infallible, but I try not to be. I have. Um, sometimes I get um, detained by people in the hallway before I go to my class. Um, or sometimes I'm actually desperately trying to um, remember something right before the class and then I realize, oh my god, it's time to go to class, but not often. Uh, yeah, once or twice I've uh, walked into the wrong class thinking, you know, oh, this is the room that I had assigned and then I walk in and I kind of looked at the other professor was setting up for their class and kind of like saying like are you done because my class is about to start and then they look at me like what are you doing in my class and then finally somebody opens their mouth and said like oh wait a minute i'm in the wrong classroom <laughs> so yeah that's happened oh i've definitely done that yeah I, I mean the classrooms in colby look so similar so if you have a class in like 227 and then a class in 236 they look identical and i've definitely walked in and it had like an intro to a public speaking class, look back at me and be like, what are you doing here? Yeah, I've definitely done that. Uh, I have not. Are you kidding me? That is, uh, that happens very, very often. So, well, you know, it definitely happens. Uh, especially if you're talking about finals week, um, I probably spend three or four days straight uh, doing grading. So there's a lot of writing, um, there are projects that are really hands-on and I have to look at uh, the writing of strategies and uh, you know the, the development of those strategies uh, like according to particular clients and, uh, and that, that is very, very time consuming, yeah. I haven't spent a whole weekend. Uh, I've spent a lot of time on the weekend grading, but I usually try to get things done during the week so I can actually spend time with family and friends on the weekend. I'm a pretty good advocate for my time, but I will grade late at night during the week to avoid having to grade on the weekend. I have, yeah. I spend weekends, entire weekends grading, which hasn't been pleasant when I have a lot of like gen ed sections, that, like B classes. Uh, uh, yes, I have. Um, I try not to do it very often, but yeah, I, I'm sure some people do. I also have ended my class late and jokingly told my students that I won't, there's no extra charge for the extra few minutes of my time. I definitely have ended class early. Yeah, sometimes you just are done talking about topics or students are ready to go and you don't always have to be there the whole period. Oh, I have, yeah. Um, lectures sometimes, not a lot, but if a couple of minutes, I would do it. Oh, you mean, oh, yeah, yeah. I have been, I think the latest I've been on campus has been maybe two or three o'clock in the morning, and that's not, I used to be a grad student here a while ago, but that's not even, counting that that's when I was faculty um, from time to time when CTV has done some of the productions uh, that go later into the night I, I've been here probably until two o'clock in the morning maybe so yeah not very often but I have I don't 
think I've been on campus super late. I live far, so I usually try to leave once it gets dark, but I do teach late, so I have a class that I used to teach until like 7.30 p.m. That's kind of late, but I've never been probably past 10 p.m. on campus. I have, um, I used to be the advisor of a Latino student organization on campus, and we used to have a lot of meetings late at night, and I would stay um, and it was a little bit strange to be on campus so late. Unfortunately, yes, I have uh, called the student by the wrong name. Um, and I feel really embarrassed when that happens. Oh, I've done that. I'm terrible with names. That's why I make name tags for my students. I've definitely... And it's hard when you have like a hundred students, you do get names confused. But I also have had a set of sisters who look very similar and I've definitely interchanged their names. But I mean, parents do that too, so, oops. Oh, I have, I have called the students by their own name. I try to avoid, but sometimes it happens. Um. I have, uh, when that happens, it's usually because I am sick or uh, something like that. So it's only, uh, it's only happened maybe, again, once or twice. Um, it's very rare that I do that. Uh, now keep in mind when I say I have, and it's been once or twice, I've been teaching for uh, 12, 13 years. So, you know, I don't think that's a bad record. I just had to do this because I had a terrible cold, but yes, I've definitely canceled the day of class, which is not ideal. I always try to give my students as much warning as possible, but things come up, and unfortunately, I've, I've had to do that. No, I have not. I have! I went to one. I don't remember what it was called, but I really liked it. <laughs> it was my freshman soft more I it it was the time that I went eventually sometime I have I've been to a couple in Gazetta I have not I I have not I have not I have not been to a theater production um I did go to a documentary screening in the Dom theater that one of our faculty members put on but an actual theater production no I haven't I've been to a theater production. I've also been in one. I was in Big Love last fall, and that was a really fun experience. So go see all the plays. You will not regret it. I have been to a sporting event. Uh, a couple basketball games. I went to Cleveland for the MAC tournament one time uh, for the Zips, and then I've also been to a couple football games. I have. Uh, I've been to, this is maybe where I feel a little more embarrassed because I've only been to uh, four or five soccer games and only about, I think only two basketball games. That's, that's all. I've never seen a football game on campus. Oh, I have. I was an AK Rowdy my freshman year and then I very quickly lost school spirit and just worked all the time. So. I have. I've been to a football game. I have. I like to go to the soccer games. The rest? Hmm. I have not. I feel like I know where all of the buildings are, but I literally, every time I enter Polsky, it's a big confusing, I don't know where I am. <laughs> so, kind of. Like a, a sideways, like, probably. <laughs> I have not. I, I am the directions man. I know my way. Does getting lost inside buildings count? I, I have. Have you been to Auburn? My gosh, that place is a mess if you try to find somebody's office. Been lost? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have not been lost on campus. I have not, but I always use my GPS. I've been lost millions of times on campus. I'm the person that people stop and ask for directions. I'm like, I need them myself. Uh, I spend a lot of time in Colby Hall, 
So navigating outside of my familiarity, I've definitely gotten lost. Uh, my first time coming to campus, I had to get my, my faculty ID and I got so lost, I walked all the way down to Gazetta, <laughs> turned by EJ Thomas to finally get back to Simmons to actually get my card. And by then I was so out of breath and so lost, it was brutal. But yeah, I'm very directionally um, challenged. So yes, I've definitely been very lost on campus. <laughs>